Great group. This is the one you've been waiting to see working. The one I call Lady Linda with the nameplate on the side. It's had quite a few mods to this one. And I've put little lubrication points there and on the main bearings and things. Uh, two piston rings on this one. It's got twice the punch of the other one. And it's the basic model. It's the starter model of the range, really. The ET1. And to me, it's the best one to make. Um, it's more realistic with its mechanism. Everything about it. And it's so easy to work on. But um, anyway, I'll uh, show you it working. Thanks for watching. Right, okay. I say it's called a ET and ET1. It's also known as a Microcosm M90, if you're looking for one. Available from AliExpress, from Banggood, from Engine DIY, and I think there's one or two on eBay as well. Right, we'll let you see it go. This one really bounces about if I don't hold it down. As I say, it's got a lot of compression, this one. You may notice as well that I don't put any water in the top, which you should. But because I give them such a short run, it doesn't warrant putting any water in at all. And especially being a hit and miss engine, which only fires occasionally, you don't get much heat generated in there. But for a long run, you would put water in. Here we go. Oh, run backwards there. It's got a lot more smack to it than the other ones. Um, with having two piston rings in. Naturally, it's very cold, but it will settle down very shortly. If I was to let go of it, this would happen. Bounce about all over the place. Over the side and getting down the, the shaft there as it slows down. Which works just the exhaust valve. In the bounce just under the spark plug there, and that's atmospheric. Works entirely on suction, no push rod. That's the E-Chain ET1, also known as a Microcosm M90. Settled down nicely now. Now it's warmed up a little bit. There we go. Thanks for watching.